Hello, this is Nick with Nick'sComputerFix.com and here's a, a video that shows you how to disable Cortana totally within Windows 10, a free registry hack. Okay, first up is a warning. Changing, adding, or deleting the wrong item or items in the Windows registry can cause your computer not to boot or work again. So be sure to use caution when editing and I strongly suggest creating a registry backup or system restore point first before moving forward. Okay, here's a question. How do you determine if Cortana is enabled? If you go down to the search line down here and if you see ask me anything, that is an excellent indication that Cortana is enabled. If we right click on the start menu, click on run, and we type in the word W-I-N-V-E-R and go ahead and click on OK. We can see that we're on the anniversary version, 1607. And I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. Now go back down to the start menu again. Right click and go back up and click on run command here. And once the prompt is open, we want to go ahead and go into our Windows 10 system registry by typing in R-E-G-E-D-I-T. And once you do, go ahead and click on OK. And when we do, we get the user account control prompt. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? And we want to go ahead and click on Yes. And that will open up the registry editor for us so that we can go ahead and click on H key local machine, expand that, and then go down and expand software, and then go down and click on policies and expand that one, and then click on Microsoft and expand that one, and then go down and click on Windows and expand that one. Okay, at this point, we do not see a Windows space search um, heading or title so we want to create one by right clicking on Windows clicking on new and going across and clicking on key now we have created a new key title and um, we want to go ahead and rename this new key number one to the name Windows space search two words and the first letter in Windows, W, is capitalized. And the first letter in Search, S, is capitalized. And don't forget there is a space between the two words. Once that's done and you've hit the Enter key, you can see it's now a um, key under Windows. And we want to right click on Windows Search and click on New. And this time we want to go down to D Word 32-bit value. And once you click there, we want to go up and rename this um, D word to the word allowed Cortana. And the first letter is A, which is capitalized. And the first letter in Cortana, C, is capitalized. And it's all one word, no space between the two words. And now let's go ahead and double click on that. And as you can see, the value data is zero, which is good. Go ahead and click on OK. At this point, we can go ahead and close out the registry editor. Um, go up here and click on X. And what we want to do is go ahead and perform a restart so we can get rid of Ask Me Anything here and disable Cortana. So let's go down to the Start menu here. And we can either do a restart or we can do a sign off. Um, I like the idea of a restart, but uh, it's up to you. And once it's restarted and Windows has rebooted, you can see that it no longer says ask me anything. Um, it says search Windows and therefore it will only do searches on your local hard drive for apps, files, and settings. It will no longer search the internet. Now you can stop right here if you're happy with Cortana only doing local searches within Windows 10. Um, but if you want to 
totally and absolutely disable not only the internet searches but the local searches as well we can go ahead and end the process within task manager and we go about doing that by going down here and going up and clicking on task manager um, you can also do control alt delete to get into task manager as well now under processes you can see that cortana is running and on my system over to the right you can see that it's using up 32.8 megabytes worth of memory as well okay let's go ahead and attempt to end the task for uh, cortana and as you can see that uh, Cortana almost instantaneously restarted itself and it's very persistent no matter how many times you end the task it will restart so let's right click on Cortana go down and click on open file location and once you do it opens up file explorer and shows you that the folder for Cortana is located in Windows slash system apps and we want to go ahead and highlight it and click on it and right click and rename this folder to a different name and I'm going to just name it uh, Cortana um, space off you can name it any name you like and once you do um, and try to change the name it comes back and says it's not able to and if you click on try again no matter how many times it will not rename that folder that's because Cortana is still running so we have to go over here and click on end task and click on try again and yes it will not rename it again this is because Cortana starts up so quickly that you have to end the task quickly and click on try again as quick as possible to rename the folder and once it is renamed um, it is no longer restarted over in task manager what happens is that uh, Windows is no longer able to locate the folder because we have renamed it and therefore Cortana will not start back up now once you've done this um, it also disables the search function down here for local searches and the internet searches as well and if you right click you can see this search function is also disabled now if you go down here and you don't like seeing this window right here it's easy to get rid of we can go ahead and right click and then go up and click on search and then click on hidden and that'll make that disappear and it will no longer be in the taskbar now keep in mind that um, the search function within file explorer does continue to work so you can still do local searches um, for Windows 10 if you like by opening up File Explorer. Okay, um, that's the end of this video tutorial. And be sure to subscribe to Nick's Computer Fix.